Hello everyone, welcome to Amasafti webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to create home folders for Active Directory users in Windows Server 2022. A home folder is a private network location where users can store their personal files. It is stored in a shared folder on a file server. When we create the home folder on a file server, users can access it from any computer on the network. Administrators can use this centralized storage area to easily back up important network files. Users from any version of Windows can access their home folders. Home folders is also known as home directory. We want to create and set up a home folder for our Active Directory users in this video. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msaptwebcast.com domain. We have signed into this domain controller with the domain administrator's account. We don't have dedicated file server, so we will use our domain controller to host home folders for this example. If you have dedicated file server, use that for home folder configuration. Open File Explorer, create a folder on the file server and name it Home Folder. This can be named anything but we would use a descriptive name. This folder should ideally be on a drive other than system drive. Right click on the folder and select Properties to open Folder Properties window. Click on Sharing tab, click on Advanced Sharing. Under the advanced sharing window, select share this folder and now you can update the share name under settings section. This is the share name of this folder. In our case, it is home folder. It is not recommended to have white spaces when sharing a folder on the network. The special character dollar at the end of this name makes this folder hidden to our users. This is done for security reasons. The users do not require access to this main or root folder. What they need is access to their user folders within this folder. Hence, by adding the dollar character at the end of the folder name, we can hide this root folder. We can also add comment on the comment section. This has no operational value but rather Use for system administrators to keep track of folders. Click and open permissions window. Under share permissions, we can see our Active Directory group titled Everyone has read permission on this shared folder. We want to change the permission to full control. Then click on apply and OK. Again, click on OK. Next, click on security tab. In the security tab, open advanced security settings window by clicking the advanced button near the bottom. Click disable inheritance. Select convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object on the block inheritance warning pop-up. Select users groups entries and use the remove button to remove them from the permissions entry. Click on apply and OK. Go back to Sharing tab and copy the network path we created earlier. Let's select it. Right click and select a copy. This will copy that information to the clipboard and we can paste this information in our next step. Now I'm going to click on Close. Let me minimize File Explorer. Open the Server Manager if it is not opened already. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers to access the Management Console. In Cells OU, we have put the users that are in a Cells Department and all the groups associated with Cells Department users. Select all the users you would like to set them up a home folder and then right click while the users are selected. Now. Select Properties to open Properties window. This will open up properties 
for multiple users. Go to Profile tab and select Home folder. Now choose Connect. We can choose a draw later for Home folder for our users. Typically, we use letter H for Home folders as an unwritten rule of thumb. You may select any other draw later from the drop down menu as long as it will not create a conflict for any of your users. Under the To section, paste the root home folder location which we have copied earlier. Then at the end of it, please insert percentile username percentile. This will result in creation of home folders for each selected user with their own username. Remember, the home folders shared root folder path typically syntaxed to auto-generate folders based on individual user's Active Directory logon name. UNC path server name slash root folder location slash percentile username percentile. Now click on apply and click on OK. Notice the home folder name is based on the Active Directory user profile logon name. Double click on Sam Harper. Check logon name under account tab for this user. We can see the user logon name is sam.h. Now click on profile tab. Check the home folder connect path for this user. We can see after the root folder name we have sam.h. Check the contents of the shared folder. A folder that matches the user's name should exist in the folder. To do so, let's go back to File Explorer. Let's double click on our home folder local path. Here we can see the list of home folders for our Active Directory users. And these home folders are with the name of user's logon name. Here we can see the name Sam Edge for our user Sam Harper. Folders are automatically created based on the logon name of each Active Directory user account under the shared folder for home folders. This process occurred when we inserted percentile username percentile at the end of the root shared folder path. Let me show the NTFS permission of this individual shared folder. We will check the same for our user Sam Harper. Go for the properties, click on security tab and click on advance. The permission for our user Sam Harper is he has a full control on this folder, subfolders and files. This permission is added automatically when we have configured home folder settings for our Active Directory users. Now to see the result, let's go to Windows 11 computer. Let's sign in to this Windows 11 computer as a Sam Harper. Assign to username and password and press enter key to log in to this Windows 11 computer. Now let's open File Explorer. Click on this PC. Confirm that the home folder is mounted successfully with drive letter H. Let's double click on it. Let's create a new folder here. Sam is successfully able to create a folder and rename it. That means a user Sam has a full control on this folder. Now a user can easily store his files and folders in his home folder just like he stored in local drive. Indirectly, those files and folders are being stored on your file server. That's all for this video on how to create home folders for Active Directory users in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.